Welcome to the OC Varsity Baseball Dugout Show. I'm Jonathan Camus, filling in for Carlos Arias this week. I guess he's in a cage match, uh, fighting off a couple of death-defying cats. That's what he told me. Uh, I'm here with Steve Fryer, here to preview the best of Orange County baseball. Steve, we're here at Pacifica High School as they get set to take on Cypress. They actually took them on not too long ago. Cypress got the win, beating them 5 nothing. Something tells me tonight it's going to be a little bit different. Maybe these two teams have a lot more with the league implications on the line. Yeah, definitely a lot more at stake, you know, because that game you were talking about was the consolation championship game of the National Classic. I'm sure that Cyprus would like to sort of carry that over, maybe even hope that they could somehow apply that to league. But this is the one that counts, you know, when you're in your league games. Uh, that's where everything's at stake. That's what stuff, you know, kind of determines, you know, where you're going to be in the playoffs. You know, you're going to be home in the first round, who you're playing early on. And so, uh, you know, just, you know, the whole pride of being league champ is, uh, is crucial to all these young guys. Yeah, we talked to the head coaches before the game. Here's what they had to say. Uh, nothing but the most respect for these guys. Uh, we share this mutual respect, and we're just going to see what happens. Our goal every year is to make to the playoffs and play well. We just want to get to the playoffs. team that gets to the playoffs that has some momentum usually goes deeper in the playoffs. So that's all we're worried about right now. All the stuff that we do in the fall in the fall, and all the stuff that we do in preseason, all that stuff is great no matter what it is, in the summer, you know, wh whatever it might be. All that stuff is, is to get your team and your kids individually better and collectively better for for league play and it's about winning a league championship and then hope and pray what happens in the playoffs with a one game deal. We spoke briefly of that game Cypress and Pacifica played in the National Classic. Steve, I thought it was another great tournament and it had another great championship game. Yeah, and it was a historic national championship game, uh, national classic championship game, Jonathan, because uh, El Dorado has been a co-host of this tournament, the founders of the tournament since it started in 1990. Five times previous they had been in the championship game and five times they came away losers. And this time they finally got it. What was kind of neat about this too was that the first pitch in the National Classic uh, Championship game, the first pitch was thrown by former El Dorado coach Steve Galati, who you know, was the coach for those five losses. You know, one of the guys that started the tournament, throws out the first ball, and then his old boys go out there and get the W. Man, it's pretty neat. That was awesome. A Cinderella ending for sure. Um, league play heating up, Steve. And uh, I know one of the teams we were talking about earlier, Beckman, they're making some rounds, huh? Yeah, you know, if any team sort of looks like, uh, you know, the, the clearest favorite to perhaps win its league championship, seems to be a good notch better than the rest of them, it's the Beckman Patriots. When James Caprillion's on the mound, you know. He's a stud. Yeah, and they could beat any team, not just, you know, Pacific Coast <laughs> League teams. So they look pretty rock solid, too. So, you know, that's a team that's, uh, that really looks formidable. You know, and Esperanza had a pretty nice run in the National Classic, you know, and uh, they started 8-0 and low in the Sunset League, uh, the Century League, rather. And, uh, but, you know, with El Dorado playing great in that uh, National Classic, you know, El Dorado might be making a run at him. You know, Canyon of Foot, oh, that's too much good baseball in that league. Yeah, yeah and, and not to mention the South Coast League, the Seaview League, things are really getting exciting right now here at OCVarsity.com where we've got you covered.